Hey guys, it's Leanne. Welcome or welcome back to my YouTube channel. So today's video is me reviewing the Made by Mitchell Blush Bronzed and this is in the shade Caramel Chisel and this is the Blush Bronzed out of the packaging. Now the packaging for me, I think it's absolutely amazing and I think the other blushes, they just look so cute together and any other brand I don't think has this aesthetic, like the neon green almost. So yeah, I love the packaging, so straight away that's already a win. So yeah, today's video is a first impression, a review, and I'm going to be doing a wear test to see how this actually lasts, because I've got it on the skin now. So to me right now, it's looking so natural, so dewy, and it's actually dried down. So even though it's liquid, it dries to a powder formula, I believe. Not actually put any other powder bronzer on top. That's my normal routine. If I do any cream or liquid bronzer, it's literally like I have to put a powder bronzer on top. But today I've not done that. But we'll see, obviously, through the video if that lasts or whatever. Please give this video a thumbs up. Please think about subscribing if honest makeup reviews and informative makeup tutorials are your thing and you don't want to miss out then please turn on the notification bell. Now one more thing before we do jump into the video is that I'm actually going to be doing three giveaways. So I don't know when I'm going to be doing them but I'm just going to show you some of the products that I've started buying up to now. I'm not sure what months or whatever but that's why you need to subscribe and turn on the notification bell so you won't miss out. All giveaways are international but anyway so I've literally ended up buying three of the Morphe X Jeffree Star the Jeffree Star Artistry Palette. Morphe dropped Jeffree Star about, about a year ago or something, maybe less, I don't know. But they dropped Jeffree Star anyway. So all these palettes were on sale. Literally retailed at £35. And I got these palettes for £4.80. How good is that? Now, the formula's amazing of Jeffree Star's eyeshadows and Morphe's. Literally amazing. I've not actually tried this palette. So, yeah, there's going to be three giveaways. So... Each giveaway is going to be containing one of the Morphe X Jeffree Star palettes. And then I've only bought two other items. The other item is the Kate Hayes Makeup Beauty Blender. And then I've also picked up the Huda Beauty Neon Eyeshadow Palette. Leave me a comment in the comment section for any goodies that you actually think I should include in this giveaway. But obviously, please bear in mind that during these giveaways, I do include like universally flattering products. So I won't include foundation or concealer because that's obviously... We don't know what tone to pick. We don't know who the winner's going to be. So if you can just recommend some like maybe like blush palettes or eyeshadow palettes, maybe like makeup brushes, things like that, setting sprays or even just like your favourite brands, let me know in the comment section and I'm going to make it my business to go out and just keep adding to this with all your recommendations. So yeah, do that. Give the video a like and I will really stop talking now. <laughs> I actually love how the packaging is like almost neon. I think it's lovely. So this is what blush looks like once you take it out of the packaging. So on the back, which is a little bit confusing, it's got Mitchell's logo, so made by Mitchell. And then underneath it says liquid blusher. So this is a liquid bronzer, or that's how I'm gonna use it anyway, liquid contour. But yeah, it's a bit confusing because on the back it says liquid blusher. So maybe this could be blush for maybe a deeper skin tone. But for me, it's definitely going to be a more bronzing shade. So I actually already have two of the original blush, which is a liquid blush. So I've got the shade Peach Sugar, which is this one, and I've also got the shade Sweet Cheeks, which is this one. Now I've actually done two reviews of these products already in these colours, so I'm going to be linking both of those videos in the description bar, please go and check them out. And these are liquid to powder formula, so I'm assuming that this is just going to be the same. With these, these are so pigmented, and they're literally one of my favourite products of... 2020 slash 2021 i'm not sure when they launched but basically they're one of my favorite products anyway and it's something i always go for now i always use these liquid blushes and i don't actually need to set them 
so it's just like I'm quite innovative because with any cream blush I will always set just in case it wears off but these are so pigmented and they last all day as does the pigment like these literally do not fade when I use these as blush so I'm really happy with the formula so let's see if the bronze version is the same. So to buff away the blush bronzed, I'm gonna be going in with a Real Techniques buffing brush. So it's just a clean brush, as you can see. And I'm literally gonna be starting so lightly because I'm so scared, it's just gonna be so pigmented. And I'm just gonna be tapping this into place. Hmm. Okay, that's not a good idea. What I've just done is actually not a good idea. Because I've been vigorously swiping, I feel like it's kind of lessened the foundation a little bit. It's a little bit of redness is now peeking through the skin. So one tip is don't do that. So we'll just try this again. Just try a little bit less this time. And I'll just try and just press this into the skin. So I am pressing quite firmly and you can tell by the position I'm holding the brush in. I've, I'm holding it at the very, very tip, which will give a harder pressure. Okay, so that is now looking a lot nicer. So one tip, obviously do not swipe or rub, which I don't normally do, but I think I just got a little bit of panic because I know what the actual original blush is like, like you need to blend it out. Okay, I'm gonna see if I can build this up a little bit more. Mainly just at the back. If I make that the darkest, it will look the most natural. Okay, so that's looking quite natural. And it is very flattering on my skin tone. So caramel chisel, if you are a pale complexion like me, is quite a nice shade. It's not too deep for my skin. So I'll just try a little bit more. So I'm just doing this in stages because I'll be panicking. If I just went all over the face, I think I'll be panicking. So I'm just going to do it in stages now. Again, I'm holding the brush more closer to the tip to give me a lot more control and a firmer pressure. Okay, so it is actually pretty easy to blend out, really. And a little really does go a long way with this product. Okay, so so far I am actually really happy with the formula of the blush bronze. It is pretty pigmented. And it is actually buildable, as you can see. I've been building it up. So I'm just brushing this almost back into the hairline as that will give you the most natural looking contour. If it looks like it comes from your hairline rather than obviously you have your hairline and then the blush just, the blush just on your forehead. It obviously looks more realistic if you make sure to buff it into the hairline. And as I said before, a little bit does seem to go a long way. Like I could leave this at this, but I'm not going to. I'm going to apply a little bit more. But speaking of a little bit going a long way, this product, you actually get six mils of product. And as you can see here, I'm actually buffing the product upwards. So I'm not swiping it down. I'm actually using an upwards motion to press the contour upwards as that will give your cheekbones more of a lifted look. Just a little FYI. Okay, yeah, I really do love this formula. I'll actually use a Real Techniques Deluxe Crease Brush. So this is an eyeshadow brush, but I'm just gonna be using it to buff this nose contour. So that actually looks really natural. Let me know what you think of this product in the comment section, but I actually love how it's like blended away on the skin. So far, so good with this. I'm just debating whether to add more. No, I'm gonna leave it. I'm gonna leave it as that. By the way, this shade, it does look kind of dark in the packaging, 
but on my skin tone it's actually really flattering and it's really a warm tone for my skin so i'm really happy because it was just a guess so i went on the made by mitchell website and i just picked this one based on the fact that it was the one that mitchell was actually wearing in the photo shoot so i was like right he's white i'm white let's just hope for the best basically so yeah so i am going to be applying a little bit of blush now so i'm going to be mixing peach sugar and sweet cheeks together this is the real techniques sculpting brush i've used a lot of real techniques in this video today haven't i, I want to see if the actual blush blush and the actual blush bronzed actually mix well together so i've just applied a little bit of each and i'm going in with this brush look how pigmented that is do you know what i'm talking about now and I said before how pigmented these blush are. I think blush just makes people look so much more healthier. Like, I think that makes me just look so much more younger and healthier for some reason. Not sure if anyone else agrees, but for me, blush is a must. And there you go. So far, there's no harsh lines where the blush has not blended into the liquid blush oh this is getting so confusing so basically what i'm trying to say is there's no harsh lines where the blush blush has blended into the bronze blush basically it's all just literally seamless so i'll just give you a little closer look before i actually go off and just do my day and then check back in so to me that is just looking so natural just dim the lights as i think that that helps show how pigmented the blush is I kind of feel like a little bit though, I don't know if this is just me, but I kind of feel like the blush bronzed is just getting lost now because I've added the blush blush. I just kind of feel like maybe it looked better before and I just had the blush bronze on. Hmm, maybe I could just add a little bit more. Just to try and build up those cheekbones and see what happens. So. I'm going back in with the first brush I used, so the Real Techniques Buffing Brush. Mm, I'm just going to see if this works. Okay, so it definitely redefines those cheekbones, I would say. So to me, it doesn't actually look patchy, it's just redefined the cheekbones. So, yeah, it's really flattering and all these products and formulas and shades go really well together. So, yeah. That's how the skin's looking, so I'm gonna go now, but I'll be back in a few hours. So guys, I'm just checking back in as I said that I would. So I filmed the first part of the tutorial today at about roughly 12 o'clock, I think it was, and it's almost eight o'clock in the night time now. So I've had this blush on, blush bronzed on the skin for about eight hours, and this is how the skin's looking. Now you might notice here, there's a visible little circular of where it's came off but so my skin's peeking through underneath but i've literally been sunbathing all day and i've had my sunglasses on and they're a very weird shaped sunglass don't know if you can see here but yeah so that circular part's been pressing on the side of the cheek but everything else apart from that has literally lasted and it's kind of the same on this side there's like an imprint here but that's not a good fair standard to judge this product by because if I was going on a night out or whatever, I normally would not have anything resting on my cheekbones. I'm really, really happy with this product. So we've seen that a little goes a long way. We know that we get six mils for 16 pounds. And by the way, I don't think I've mentioned this in throughout the tutorial, but Made by Mitchell is actually cruelty free, but not vegan, I don't think. So yeah, it's a cruelty free product and it, it is actually really nice. It's really flattering as you've seen in the tutorial and it does actually last and you can actually build it so for me it actually does live up to the claims that it actually makes so for that reason i would definitely recommend it and i suppose in one way if you are somebody who actually likes to apply liquid or cream blush it cuts out the step of having to apply powder so it could even quicken your makeup process up so yeah that's why i love made by mitchell blush bronzed and don't forget the shade was caramel chisel if anyone's going to go out and purchase this but let me know what you think of this product. Let me know if you're going to go out and purchase it or if you've tried it already. Let me know either way. But yeah, I'm going to go now. So thank you so much for sticking around to the very, very end. I really do appreciate it. And yeah, I'll see you in my next tutorial.